Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. It is our update. We'll have a free pick in college football coming up at the end of this report. Before we get to that, though, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Real cool way to do so. Click on that link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster for that matter. Again, click on the link to get started. Free $60 account. Give DocSports.com a trial run on us. All right, here's what's going on for us. Now, uh, we are going to have a college football free pick in just a moment. But as you can tell by the schedule, a lot of leagues taking a lot of time off over the next few days. And so our next video will be available late Christmas night at the very latest 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Thursday morning. That's when we'll have our next free pick video. Uh, but again, you've got like college basketball, handful of games on Monday, and then they're basically off until Saturday virtually. Uh, couple of the games coming up. I think it is on Thursday night, but I highly doubt we're going to be in action in either one of those games. As we looked ahead already, you'll see the matchups. Nothing to write home about. Not teams that we're going to be looking to jump in on. So uh, really, after college basketball's Monday slate, they're virtually off till Saturday. As far as the NHL, big schedule today. Then they're off for a few days. NBA, big schedule today. No games on Tuesday. Back in action on Wednesday. Listen, I looked ahead to Wednesday slate, Christmas Day in the NBA. 99.9% .9 sure I will be in action in the NBA on Christmas Day. So go over to DocSports.com on Christmas Day, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, and check for our NBA. We're on a nice run in the NBA. We cashed again on Sunday with Oklahoma City. So anyway, all these different sports, college basketball, NBA, NHL, all taking a bunch of time off this week. And uh, even college football, there's the game on Tuesday between BYU and Hawaii, and then nothing till Thursday. Now, if you go to DocSports.com right now, you can get my football between between now and Thursday, the early game on Thursday. Here's what's going on. I've got my top play of the entire week in the NFL is tonight's game in Monday Night Football between the Packers and the Vikings. Cashed a nice six-unit play yesterday on the Arizona Cardinals, part of a three-and-two Sunday, four-and-two if you include that free pick. And uh, we'll have a seven-unit play over at DocSports.com, which is available right now, the side between the Packers and the Vikings. I'm also in that in action in the college football bowl game on Monday, the, the, the matchup. Uh, between Marshall and Central Florida. I'm also in action in the Thursday college football clash, the early clash. And so here's the situation. You can get all three plays right now at DocSports.com. We're 40 and 24, over 60% winners the last nine weeks now in college football and the NFL. So those plays, including that big seven-unit play in the NFL, available right now for Monday's card. Uh, as far as the NBA, my NBA will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Monday. Uh, not sure if we'll be in college basketball action yet. I doubt it after handicapping the card. Going to run through it one more time. But go check it out, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, and you'll be able to see on my handicapper's homepage if we're in action. NHL, I'm in action too at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll release that play on Monday. So that's what's going on. Big uh, NFL clash on Monday night. Packers, Vikings, our seven-unit play for this week's NFL is available right now. And again, that programming note before I get to the free pick, hate to keep repeating myself, but we'll be back here late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, at the very latest, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Thursday. And again, want to wish all of you, all of you, I should say, a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a safe holiday season at that. All right, let's get to it for today. We're going to look ahead to Tuesday, Christmas Eve, the Tuesday Bowl Clash between BYU and Hawaii. And we're going to recommend a play here on Hawaii. I keep looking at, you know, what BYU did down the stretch. They won a bunch of football games, but they really didn't take on any high-powered offenses like what they're going to face when they take on this Hawaii offensive unit, which, you know, that was down for a good, not a little bit of a part chunk of the season, uh, late in the season, but good enough to get to the Mountain West Conference Championship game. And they played well on defense when they had to. And I'm talking about that game against San Diego State just to get into the Mountain West Conference Championship. And of course, they blew out Army on the islands, which was a very tough spot uh, for this Hawaii team. Uh, hosting Army, who was trying to become bowl eligible in a game where they had just come off the win over San Diego State that put them in the Mountain West Championship and had the game with Boise coming up next, yet they took care of business, put 52 points on the board. I don't think BYU has seen this kind of offense too much of late over the last three or four games throughout the course of the season. And I like Hawaii here uh, to get the cover for us to get the win. So we're going to recommend a play on Hawaii, and that is Tuesday night college football bowl action. Hey, don't forget about what's going on right now, DocSports.com. We've got the 
uh, Packers versus Vikings, seven unit play, Monday bowl game, Thursday bowl game. And uh, again, we'll be back here late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Thursday. Again, wishing you nothing but a great holiday season and a Merry Christmas. Have a safe one. Let's put the next few days in the win column and I'll be right back here. That time I told you, early Thursday morning uh, with our next report. Let's put them all in the win column until then.